All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends, and today we have a very important topic. You know, we are uh, soon we are going to have the Easter time, and uh, in this uh, uh, occasion, uh, we are going to speak about the crucifixion of Jesus, which is rejected by the Muhammadan. Uh, you know, first of all, I always I ask myself, I mean, who is even Muhammad to talk about the crucifixion of Jesus? First, he is not a follower of Christ. Secondly, he never met him. Thirdly, he never read the book. Number four, he don't even understand the Trinity in Christianity. Number five, he have no answer. Life on air, I challenge any Muslim to call me life and to tell me where Muhammad he said what happened to Jesus in the cross. Or what he have, a little verse in the Quran saying they crucified him not and we will go over it. And we would die laughing. Have you ever heard of a prophet? He have no time to explain such an important method, but he have a time to, to, to explain how to shake your penis. Muhammad have no time to explain to us, okay, because the verse in the Quran is stupid, and we will show you why it's so stupid. It's extremely stupid. He had no time to tell us what happened to Jesus in the cross, but he had time to tell us what rocks you use to clean your ass. Who is a Muslim when to tell me anything Muhammad said about the crucifixion of Jesus? Anything. It's a challenge. But Muhammad said nothing. I mean, what kind of a prophet he is. That's it. The crucifixion of Jesus did not happen. The Quran confirmed it happened, actually. I saw a Muslim. Uh, his name, Islam is peace, which is funny. I mean, Islam is peace. The word Islam means uh, surrender. We have a Muslim calling. Let us see what this uh, gentleman he want. Hello? Hello. Please mute YouTube so you can I can hear you. No, oh, you hang up. Hello. Mute mute YouTube, please mute YouTube. Hear me from Skype only. Mute YouTube. Hello? Yes, you are live on air, my friend. What do you like to say to us? You are a Muslim, right? Mr. Osman? Yeah. All right. What do you like to say to us? Go ahead. Our topic is the crucifixion of Jesus. Did your prophet say anything about Jesus' crucifixion? Yeah, I wanted to say that, Yari. The Quran hmm. no, I says, okay. Okay, so you speak Arabic, that's wonderful. So what your prophet is about this verse? That is, this is what this is what the Muslims have, it's just one verse about Jesus. That's it? Yeah, the the verse says hmm. he was not killed and he was not crucified, but someone hmm. who was made similar to him was crucified. Okay, so that's the whole Islamic religion teaching about crucifixion of Jesus, that's it. Muhammad never said anything else. Yeah, the teaching is about yeah, and Jesus was not crucified. Okay, but yeah, yeah, my friend Osman, 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 Osman my crucified. friend, my friend Osman, listen, I'm asking you, did your prophet say anything additional to this verse? Zero, right? Uh, if uh, the prophet said anything, like mm -hmm. apart from what the Quran says and what the Bible says, those things, yani, I don't know. He never but said anything. This is what I know that he never said anything. He never, he never. That's why I'm saying. That's why I'm saying, Osman. I challenge any Muslim to show me anything your prophet said about this. So bring me a verse saying Allah. He said that. Shouldn't you even explain the verse? Shouldn't Muhammad explain this verse to the Muslims because this verse is confusing? Let us, let us, me and you go over it. You just said that Allah He made someone look it, like Isa in the cross, correct? Not in the cross. Before he was crucified. Before he went to the cross. In the Bible, Mark, uh, it say Simon of Cyrene. Hmm. In the in the in the Bible says what? Uh, 
Simon hmm. of uh, Siren, yani Simon of Siren. Uh -huh. And? That is the guy, yani, the, the Roman soldiers that uh, told him, yani, take this cross for Jesus, and hmm. he was the one who was crucified according to Mark. No, no, uh, no, 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 no. And uh, Mark says it clearly that the Messiah, it says there, read it, it says there that the Messiah was the one who died in the cross. But that's not to fabricate stories. You can read it and people will laugh at what you said, my friend. Don't copy paste. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. Mark 15 says like that. Yeah. No, so no, 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 Okay, read for us, read for us. Okay, guys, Mark 15, Mark 15. Here you go. Mark, I will open Mark 15 and people will, you, know, you see, I'm trying to protect you from people uh, uh, laughing at what you are saying, but you are insisting. Okay, we will go. I will open, we'll put it on screen. Mark 15, no, guys, says. at me like, uh, I mean, doesn't matter so much. No, it matter, yeah, it matter, my friend. No, no, it matter when you say something, either it's a lie or it's true. This is not a joke, you know, it's matter because what you are saying is some is something very funny and not a single Christian. He, you know, all of us we have uh, uh, the Bible in front of us, and what you are saying is absolutely funny. So, where in the where in the in the Mark 15 it says what you are saying, he carried the cross for him to help him. That's it. But that's it. The one who was crucified, it was the Messiah, the Lord. And then verse number 34 says, At, at the ninth hour, hmm? at the ninth hour, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ uh, can, would can allow... Can you open the, the verses or, or, or on the screen? Sure, so sure, here we them. go. Sure, here we go. So we, no yeah, problem, here we go. See, this is Mark, 16, uh, Mark, uh, uh, Mark 15, the one you are talking about. You will see it says it clearly. That they made fun of him because he, you know, he claimed to be the king of the Jews. Let Christ, the king of the, the Israel, descend and now from the cross. So who was on the cross? No, I can't see on my screen. No problem. You take, it's going to take time to show it for you. So you can open the Bible in the internet if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's showing. It's, okay, so uh, it's showing, so so the, so the, the so okay, so they put him in the cross, huh? Mark uh, fifteen. We know, we know what 15, no problem, okay, see, Simon, okay, Simon, he helped him to carry the cross, we got the story here, but who is the one who was in the cross? It was Jesus, it's in front of you, and they put a sign, says the king of the Jews, who is the king of the Jews, and they say to him, let the Christ, the king of the descend, descendant now, of, of, uh, come from the, from the cross, and then when the six hours was, uh, uh, was came, or come, there was a darkness in the hole, enter the nine hour. And in the ninth hour, Jesus cried. Who is the one who cried? Jesus cried with loud voice saying, Eli, Eli, Lima Shabaktani. So what you are saying is absolutely funny and it's not really what the Bible says. So now we no, go. Is this not uh, how the Jews saw it? Okay, I think, so, uh, so the you, Jews saw like, so, uh, it so, was like Jesus. Okay, That's why they wrote it like that. Okay, so you are saying now, you are you are agreeing with the Quran, that the Quran is saying that the Jews saw someone look like Jesus, correct? Yes, I agree with the Quran, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. we'll go back to the Quran then. So what you said about the Bible is absolutely not true. So we go back to the Quran. Okay, so the Jews, they saw someone look like Jesus. And yes. When the Jews in the Quran says, we killed Jesus, they were lying or they were saying the truth? Uh, they were lying. But how you say they were lying if you just said they saw Jesus? If I saw Jesus, I'm not lying. No, it was uh, Simon of uh, Syrian, according to, to the verses, uh, brother. I just showed you, it says, Jesus, he cried in the cross, and you are saying to me, Simon? What does Simon have to do with this? <laughs> Secondly, my friend, listen, listen carefully, focus with me. If you just said the no. Jews they saw someone uh -huh. look like Jesus, right? That's what you said. I'm going with you. So yeah. if you are a witness in the court, do you say what you saw or you say what you did not see? Mm -hmm. So so the Quran lying by saying uh, should be Allah? No, no, no. I'm trying to understand you as a Muslim first. Forget about lying. You are the one I, I said to you. When the Jews, they say, we killed the Messiah. The Jews, they say, we killed the Messiah. I ask you, did the Jews lie about killing the Messiah? You said yes. yes. So now I'm trying to explain to you that if the Jews, they saw the Messiah in the cross, that means we cannot accuse them of lying because this is what they saw. 
You see, the liar is someone he say something other than what he saw. Correct? Mm -hmm. So your accusation to the Jews that they are lying is not even smart. And Muhammad, okay, you're, be, you're a prophet by uh, saying before, that the Jews are lying. Muhammad came, huh? Okay, before the before Prophet Muhammad came, mm -hmm. their words would have been justified. But when Muhammad came and told them what was the truth about the crucifixion, they, they should believe it. No, 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 no. Forget about this now. Forget about this. I'm talking about the time in the cross. I was there. Let us say I was a Jew and my, my name is Jack Shalom. And then I was watching somebody in the cross and he was, he looked exactly like Jesus, as you said. Allah, he made the look of that, uh, of Christ on in that person. And I was there and I saw Jesus in the cross. And then you asked me, what did you see in the cross? I said, Jesus, how I, how in the world that will make me a liar? Yeah, of course, yeah, of course you will say it was Jesus. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, of course. Mm. But uh, where did uh, this Simon of Siren give back the cross uh, to Jesus again? It says where? there, you know, wait, 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 you know, see, they arrive, you see, we have four uh, four Bibles and they complete the story for us. This is why we have four Bibles, not one. But if you read the verses there, you will see that uh, uh, he, because he was so tired, you know, it, uh, uh, he, they, they are... Uh, uh, they are humiliating him. They are uh, 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 doing all kind of crazy stuff against him, and the and the cross is so heavy, and he have to carry it all the way to the mount. And this is why this person he felt he need to help, and he jumped to help. But he is not the one to be crucified. Why he will be crucified anyway? I mean, is is the criminal? I mean, imagine imagine how funny your story. I have listen 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 listen. First of no, first of all, Jesus is the only one is stripped from his clothes. They allow him only to wear. What is supposedly like uh, to to cover his private part, so there is no way for misunderstanding. The guy he did not jump in his swimming suit. The guy is wearing his clothes, all of them, and the, and the soldiers. There is hundreds of soldiers, and you are telling me the guy who carried the cross he became Jesus. So look how funny your story. You Muslim, you fabricate something is not in the Bible, making it to no, making I, it. I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny. It's funny like, because because how how okay I, I want to ask you okay I am I am let us say I'm and this I am this person uh, Simon I jump to carry the cross what happened next you tell me I'm listening. You say what? You are saying Simon this guy Simon he is the one who was crucified okay tell me how what happened I am Simon I saw Jesus carrying the cross I jumped to help him and now what happened next you are the Muslim who knows everything tell us what happened. Okay, Simon carried the cross uh -huh. until the Golgotha, the place where they, 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 they used to crucify people. Okay. And then they crucified him. Hmm. But he don't, but this is not Jesus. How they will crucify him? Now we have two Jesus. If, 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 if Allah, he made Simon look like Jesus, that now, now we have two Jesus. <laughs> but, uh, he, <laughs> like why should uh, God, Yani, the Father, why should He crucify Jesus? Yani? No, no, don't, don't change topic. Christ. Don't change topic. Don't change topic. Why? 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 It's not God, the Father, who crucified Jesus. It was the Jews. Wait. Don't don't be don't be funny. Why did God they crucify Jesus? No, it was the Jews, my friend, the Roman soldiers. So don't change the topic. Mm -hmm. So now we have, according to your story, according to your story, the the, the fabricated story, because your prophet, by the way, none of those uh, scholars they say what you just said. You're copying this from Muslim website, aren't you? Because not even a single website says that this is a guy, his name is Simon. The Muslim, they have different names. Oh, so, it is not from Muslim website. You, so where, where, where do you get this from? Where do you get that this guy, Simon, is the one who became Jesus? Where do you get this from? Can you show me an Islamic scholar who said that? No, it's not from an Islamic scholar. So this is fabrication from your own? No, uh, it's Mark 15 and Matthew... We, 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 Matthew, uh, Matthew is in front of you. It's, uh, first, it's not Matthew. You told me it's Mark. Matthew. Yeah, it's like, 27, it's, verse 32. Uh, my friend, my friend, here we go. Even like you know, you, you see, you see how funny the Muslims guys. I mean, we showed him the verse. It says it clearly. They let the Messiah, the King of Israel, come down. They are talking to the Messiah. They are not talking to Simon. And then in the Bible it says in the same chapter, the death of the of Yeshua, at the hour at the twelfth noon. Darkness was in the earth until the third hour, and then at the, at the at the third hour, the Messiah Yeshua he screamed, saying, "Eli, Eli, lima shabaktani." Who is the one who was screaming? The Messiah. It says in the front of you. Mm, 
so his God yani abandon him, huh? <laughs> no, he's quoting a prophecy from the Old Testament about him because they said that the, the true Messiah, when he is going to be crucified, they will strip him from his clothes, the bones will not be broken, etc. There's many prophecy about the cross, and he will say that sentence. So the Messiah quoting what is mentioned in the Bible in the Old Testament to prove that this is him. Here we go. This is why he said at the end it's completed. Now we go back to the topic. Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. Correct? Yeah, I think okay. so. Okay, I think so. Okay, that's wonderful. Now, who is the one is lying? The Christians, the Jews, or Allah? Yeah, uh, but bro, I cannot see like any proof like to refute this ayah, bro. You have no proof to refute this ayah. Forget about the proof now. Let us use your logic. I'm, I'm sure you are smart, intelligent, and then I want to learn from you today. You know, I'm your student today. If I see you in the cross, God forbid, or me in the cross, I am witnessing for what I saw. That's mean I am not lying. Now, the one who made someone look like Jesus is the cheater. Because he did cheat on us, he lied to us, and he made someone look in the cross like the one we are killing. So Allah is a liar. This is what you are saying to me. You are saying to me, Allah, he did lie to the Christians and the Jews. He made them see someone look like Jesus, but it's not Jesus. And then the Christians and the Jews, they thought this is Jesus. And because this, they thought this is Jesus, because this is what they saw, they wrote in their book, we saw Jesus crucified. So the Christian, the Bible, the, this verse in the Quran, proving to us that there is not a single lie in the Bible about the story of the crucifixion, because you just admitted, and the Quran admitted, and Muhammad admitted, that Allah, he would someone look like Jesus. So in the book of Mark, or Luke, or, or, or John, etc., when it says that we saw Jesus in the cross, they are not lying. They are telling the truth because this is what they saw. But according to Muslim, what they saw, it was a lie made by Allah. For Allah is the biggest liar in history. What do you say? Uh, no, 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 it's, 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 not, it's not like that, bro. Hmm. You just say to me. Uh, what do you mean not like that? You just say to I, me. I said already, Ani, you, but, uh, my friend, my friend, my friend, prophet, if yeah. I give you, if yeah, I give yeah, you, okay, talk, listen, listen, Os Os Osman, Osman, if I give you a fake yeah. dollar, if I give you a fake dollar, look like the real dollar, am I yeah. a cheater or yeah, I am an no honest problem. man? There is no problem with that, but when you are told that this is the real dollar, right, you should be able to accept that this is the real dollar. Who is accept that a guy, he came 600 years after to tell us that he never saw the dollar. <laughs> Did Muhammad even meet, meet yeah. Jesus? He never met Jesus. He never saw Jesus. He don't even speak the language of Jesus. And yet, after six hundred years, to say this is not Jesus, isn't it funny? Yeah, I don't think he. I don't think he's funny. Why well, it's not the, funny? Because I, you see, in, in order, in order for like me. So what? You, you know, for, okay, first of all, as long as all the ways were coming from the same God, it doesn't matter like how many years. No, like, no, 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 no. Hold on, because because you, you see, in the beginning, I asked you if there is any explanation your prophet he gave. You said nothing. So Muhammad, he have no idea what he's talking about. He made a fabrication. Mm -hmm. You know, saying no, that it was the resemble. Too, what I is the know. proof, my friend? Yeah. What is yeah. the proof? If you, in order to make something people can believe, you have to give me a proof. Do Muhammad have any proof that the one was in the cross, not Jesus? Zero. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. I can say to you, hold on, no, because now this is, can cause a problem. I can say you to that Muhammad, the one who came to the Arab in Mecca, this is not the real Muhammad, this is what a clone. I can say that this is was John Travolta. And Allah make him look like Muhammad. No. What do you mean, no, no? I, I, I come, I, I came, I, okay, I came after 1400 years from Muhammad, and now I will say to you that Muhammad was not Muhammad, this was Mr. Trump. People will laugh at me, people will laugh at me because I have to prove it. Muhammad, he came 600 years after so, Christ, okay. and then he say okay. what he say, I, what I is the proof? I know you are a Christian, but you are a Muslim scholar. You are a scholar about Islam, okay? Hmm. Like what the, did the Prophet say? Like if you have any hadith or because for me I'm a Muslim, but I don't know any what the Prophet said about. You're the a Prophet. You're a Prophet. He's, 
Europe, you're a prophet. The, the prophet uh, yeah, you're a prophet. He said it clearly. When you talk to Christian, don't accuse them of lying and don't believe them. Do you know why? <laughs> because he have no answer. <laughs> why? Because he have no answer. Don't say to them you are lying and don't say to them I believe you. Why? Because he have no answer. He has no answer? No. Yes, here we go. Okay, uh, here we go. The hadith in front of you. He said, when the people of the book spoke to you, read it, whatever the people of the book spoke to you, believe them not mm -hmm. and don't or, or accuse or accuse them of lying not. So don't accuse them of lying and don't say, you, uh, you know, don't believe them. Why? Because you don't have answer. No, no, no. It, it was yani you know, avoid some unnecessary debate. You know, it's not about uh, he doesn't have answers. No, because okay, so okay, here we go. Okay, them, all like right. See the truth, uh, but they are not ready uh, to. All right, like, no, uh, no, 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 no. He uh, have no answer. No, he have no answer. When when the people of Najran they came to Muhammad, he said to them, uh, "I have no answer for you today. Come to me tomorrow." And the second day, he gave them a verse from the Quran, says the similarity of Jesus is the same as Adam, which is very funny because neither Adam. Uh, similarity of Jesus same as Adam he said to them be and he was and all of us we knew neither Adam neither Jesus was created by saying be according to the Quran which this is a contradiction for what the Quran is saying so Muhammad when he make a lie he cannot even cover his own lie because Jesus was not created by saying be according to the Quran Allah he sent his uh, uh, spirit uh, uh, his, uh, he blow in the in the uh, uh, in the vagina of Mary his spirit he did not say be and he was same for Adam Adam Allah he, he made mud and then he fashioned the mud as a human being and then he breathed into him and then Adam after he breathed into him Adam he said to him uh, finish me before the sun set Allah so he did not say be and he was it took him time so Muhammad he fabricated a lie and he cannot cover the lie and this is a great example because now by by the statement of the Quran by the Quran uh, Osman chapter 4 verse 157 it's confirming to us that the Christian Bible is absolutely true and now let me explain to you before you answer because if I am there and I saw Jesus in the cross and you just agreed that this is why someone look exactly like Jesus correct yeah he was yeah, it was made to the Jews to appear like that. no problem no problem my name is Jack Shalom guys let me introduce myself to you my name is Jack Shalom and my father his name is Moshe Habibi, Habibi, I was there and saw Moses. I saw Yeshua on the cross, Habibi, and I saw him with my own eye, Habibi. So now, Habibi, why you are saying to me it's not Yeshua, Habibi? We killed Yeshua, Habibi. So look what you are saying that Jack Shalom was there yeah, with his father Moshe, and they saw Jesus in the cross, and it was someone look exactly like Jesus. He have the voice of Jesus, the eyes of Jesus, the hair of Jesus, the height of Jesus, and nobody noticed that it's not Jesus. And then he go and he say, and the Christian, they were there too. And they say, okay, Jesus was crucified in the middle of the day of etc. And the, and the date of etc. And this is what happened to Jesus. And then, because this is what they saw. So they are telling the truth. For they are witnessing for what they saw. Not even a single word they add. Everything happened in the cross. The Quran agree with it now. Because the Quran saying that Allah, he made someone look like Jesus. So what is written in the Bible is absolutely true. Crucifixion happened. Jesus died in the cross. And all what Muhammad saying, uh, 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 it was not the real Jesus. Now, there is no way for Muhammad to prove such a lie. And how and why Allah, he changed the look of Jesus. Do you have an idea? No, no. Like uh, the Bible, I'm not saying the Bible is like all lies. But yani, it was true <laughs> when uh, before the, the Prophet Muhammad came. But when ah, the Prophet came, guys, the Bible was true. The Bible was true before Muhammad. Did you hear it? Yes. Okay. So the Bible was yeah. true for six hundred years until Muhammad happened. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you are saying, my friend, that in the time of in the time of Jesus, this has happened, which means this is what what they wrote. So what they wrote is still there for 600 years, right? That Jesus was crucified. Yeah, yeah, yeah because the Quran came to reveal the truth. Aha, uh -huh. so guys, okay. Allah, so Allah, okay, so Allah, all right, so Allah, okay, hold on. So what you, you are, don't know the, 
what, what you are saying to me that Allah did lie to the Christians and he created the Christianity and he fabricated the Christianity and he made the Christian believe in Jesus in the cross for 600 years and then Allah after 600 years he woke up he says oh, oh what I did I did lie for those Christians so now I have to tell them the truth right yeah what do you mean yeah you, you just made your God the shaitan because if you are saying to me that Allah for 600 years he did lie to us and you agree and you say yeah that's mean all those people who die for in the previous 600 years believe in the death of Jesus and the cross they are going to go to hell for they believe in that and now who is the who is the reason for that the lie of Allah so your God Allah is the liar he is Satan the, no, Bi the Bible I says think they will go to hell they will go to hell because they believe in Jesus. No, no, you see, no, no, they will go to hell because they, because we, we, you know, the, the Christians, if there is no crucifixion, there is no Christianity. All the Christianity is based on Jesus' miracles and the crucifixions. Otherwise, why would we not believe in him? So when you create all those things, who gave him the miracle? Allah. Okay, that's what the Muslims say. Who, who is the one who made the Christians see him in the cross? Allah. That's what the Muslims say, and you agree. So according to you, Christianity is a lie created by Allah. So Allah is the biggest devil ever exists in history. Right now we have more than 3 billion Christians believe in the lie of Allah, according to your understanding. Uh, okay, okay, cool. Okay, for now, Yanni. okay, it's cool. Hmm. So Allah is a liar, I agree. Hello. Uh, hello. Yeah. So, so uh, what what do you say to yourself now? How you how you worship on God? Who can? Because now, if this is true, maybe Muhammad is not Muhammad. Maybe Musa is not Musa. Maybe me is not me. No, maybe you I, is maybe you, you is not you. See, no, we, according to your logic, according you can. No, say, not my logic. This was lo yeah, this was your logic, Allah my friend. Is a is a liar. My friend, this but is this is your logic. No, 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 no. So. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all. This is not my logic. Secondly, the Quran confirmed that Allah is a liar. You speak Arabic, don't you? I uh, uh, No, you speak Arabic. I, I heard you saying the letters in like a letter in Arabic. Yani, yani, right? So uh, you speak Arabic. Did, did Allah? I, I, did... I'm li I'm in the Middle East, yani. I'm in the Middle East, but uh, yeah, I'm just trying to learn. Okay. Like, no yeah, problem. Continue, but, 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 did, but did Allah say the one? Who Allah misguide, nobody can guide. The one who Allah deceive, nobody can can guide. The Quran says it clearly uh, that <laughs> the one who Allah deceive, no hadi, no hadi for the Chapter four, verse number eighty-eight. And you speak Arabic here. We're going to put on the screen. Woman, you did Allah, and the one who Allah deceive, nobody can guide him. So who is the deceiver? Allah. And you speak Arabic? Uh -huh. And actually, what the verse is saying that Shaitan is way better than Allah because the one who Allah is like he deceived, uh, nobody can guide him. But if, you, if Shaitan must guide you or deceive you, maybe you can be guided. But if Allah did that to you, that's it. And here we, you know, we we notice that the Quran is a book of the devil because if Allah is the one but who is yeah, leading but, but, but after the Prophet came yani, that is a guide us no my friend here when, we go no actually no 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 my friend my friend uh, <laughs> the, the, the Allah saying to Muhammad look read carefully do you want do you want to guide him who Allah has made as go astray which means he deceived the Arabic word in Arabic is deceived so Allah saying to Muhammad, are you trying to make the one who Allah deceive guided? Are you stupid or what? So the Quran is a, is a book of stupidity because if the Quran sent to guide people, will you guide those who Allah misguide or the one who shaitan misguide? Obviously there's no shaitan. The one who the devil has misguided. Who? The, the one who the devil is misguided. Okay, but the, but Allah the, the, saying the, the but, but, but but now Allah is saying that He is the one who 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 would deceive people, not Shaitan, and He is saying it clearly. Do you want to guide him who Allah made him deceived? 
And he but who the, Allah the, the made him. The devil's ability comes from God. My friend, but your God, Allah, is the, is, the, is the devil in the same time. So the Quran was sent to guide me or to misguide me? No, I don't have an answer for that. Uh, you, all Muslims have no answer for anything. Since when Muslims have an answer? I never, I never saw a Muslim have an answer. The only answer they say, Allah knows best. Thank you very much. But the verse in the front of us is clear that are you going to are you going to guide the one who Allah deceived? The answer is no, you cannot. And he whom Allah He made this is Muslim translation go astray. You will never find out any way for him. And by the way, this is proven to be false because Muhammad, he was saying those to the kuffar of Quraysh and later they converted to Islam. So Allah was a fraud. Muhammad, he thought, he tried to give an excuse why they are not going to accept Islam. Why? He, so, so the thing is, yani, yani, maybe you don't understand the, the verses, I think. You know, my friend, I understand the verses and you can do your best. You can open Ibn Kathir, you can open Al-Tabari, Al-Qurtubi, anything you want and you will see how stupid the Quran is. And this is not only in one place in the Quran, the whole Quran is speaking about the same thing, that there is only one deceiver, his name is Allah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, bro. Okay, cool. So what, you will leave Islam or you will not leave Islam yet? Uh, no, this topic only is not, uh, it's not like a complete, uh, I cannot decide from only this topic, you know. Mm -hmm. Why, 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 yeah. why, why you cannot tell this? You just agreed that Allah died to the Christians, uh, He lied to the Jews, He lied to everybody for 600 years at least. And then, uh, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we showed you the verses in the Quran, as you see, this is another example, that Allah is the one who deceives people, and you cannot guide those who Allah deceives. what he did was just trying to protect Jesus, not uh, Yani. No, 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 no. You cannot say that. Okay, let me let me show you something now. There is a horrible thing behind this story, because if you want to protect Jesus, you do not need to put someone in the cross. You can kill all the army of the Roman, and you can destroy all the Jews. This is God, right? He can say one word, and they will they will be demolished. Do you agree? But it's better to kill one person than killing millions. But you, but you did not kill any one person. What person? What you? What what person? The person who was uh, killed. Simon, the, uh, well, Simon is an honest man. He did nothing. Why you want to kill him? What he did? He's he's a good guy. What about what the what about the people who dies right now? Are they wrong or what? My friend, Dying doesn't depend no, on whether death, you are innocent no, or normal, normal death is different. I will die, you will die. God gave us life and he made us live in this earth for a certain time. You know, we are not born to stay alive forever. That's that, that's, an, that's a natural death. But uh, but the, here you are saying to me that your God, Allah, he made someone honest and die in the cross. But there is no reason. If Allah want to save Jesus, he can take Jesus to him. Okay, let's say Allah want to take Jesus to him. He can do it. But if he... Even if you say that Jesus died on the cross, he was even innocent. Exactly, he was innocent. We are not saying he's not, but this is the but, but this is the crime of the the, the one who who want to kill him. But now you are saying to me, Allah, he replaced him with someone he should not be dead. Secondly, by doing that, Allah, he lied to us. Number three, let me ask you this question: Why Allah want to protect? Why Allah want to protect Jesus, but he don't want to protect Muhammad? Muhammad was killed by the Jews too. Why Allah no, did not... No, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus was protected here, okay. uh, according to my belief. No, no yeah, problem. Was okay, this is my question. That's what I'm saying, my friend. Listen carefully. As long you are saying and you are agreeing, according to the Quran, that Jesus was protected. So why Allah did not protect Muhammad from the Jews? The Jews, they killed Muhammad. Why? Yeah, Allah does whatever he want to do. Uh -huh. Allah does whatever he want to do. Uh -huh. uh, he wants you to die from poison. You're going to die from that. Ah, but this is me. Like, okay, yeah, but, uh, by that, yeah, yeah, but 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 I, you don't even need to ask about that. No, no, we need to ask because uh, you know you, you see if I have two prophet and I decide to save one and throw the other one from the from from the boat. Obviously, I care for one. The second one is a garbage. This is what you are saying to me because if you have to, let us say you have two sons, and you are in a boat, mm -hmm. and both of them they are going to be killed by the Jews, and you decide to dump one of them to the Jews so they can kill him. And you decide to save Jesus. That means Muhammad is nothing. Mm -hmm. So how that can be? You Muslims, you claim that Muhammad is the most important man for man, between mankind for Allah. 
how he is the most important man between all mankind yet Allah he let him die by a poison which is a which a which a right poison you can buy from Walmart I can give you the name if you want you know the, the right poison used to kill him but uh, when when it comes to saying that uh, Muhammad was the best of creation or something like that uh, of course yeah, those yeah, I don't really like believe in those you know because uh, if I I don't really believe in those yeah you don't believe in those? You don't. Jesus uh, is God. Jesus is, uh, bro. Those things, man. Hmm. So you don't believe that Muhammad is the best I of mankind? I, those are just lies, and the gospel was written like just copy and paste from the pre previous books and from Daniel. Ah, okay. Like, but uh, hold, uh, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm asking you now. Uh, you just said that you don't believe that Muhammad is the best of mankind. Yeah, the best of mankind. Yeah, I don't think so. He's not. When it comes to mankind, because uh, for me, I believe that Jesus was a person. Then he can be uh, the best uh, if we compare and if we compare according to my beliefs, you know. Hmm. So Jesus is the best of yeah. mankind according to your belief. Yeah. Not Muhammad. Because I believe he's a man mankind, and I believe so. Hmm. But that means Muhammad is not. Yeah. Is not the the best of mankind, and according to your belief, right? Yeah, but uh, he was a prophet. Yeah. Hmm. So now we have an agreement with our friend here, uh, Osman, that Jesus is the best of mankind. Uh huh. And uh, let me ask you, uh, when you say Jesus is the best of mankind, why why you made such a decision that he is the best? Like, what what make you uh, go into that conclusion? Uh, because uh, because of what he did yani, and what the prophet did, yani, it's like if I compare according to my logic, but according to the logic of uh, like this the Islam, yani, but it's different. I'm a Muslim, of course, but yani, oh, so but I have a brain also. Yeah, so you have a brain. Thank you for having a brain. I'm so happy for you. So because your brain is functioning very well. There is no way to compare between Jesus and Muhammad. So Muhammad was a very bad person, right? Uh, no, he, he, he had some flaws, but not really like bad. Any. Like what? Like what? Okay, let me let me ask you. If 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 you have uh, Osman, 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 listen to me. Uh, yeah. If you have a friend, and it would my respect to your wife, I'm not making, I'm not trying to insult. You have a friend, or even you have your father. He come to your house and he flirt with your wife. What you would do with him? Yeah, did he flirt? He didn't flirt. He just came. He found uh, Zainab. Hmm. Then he went back. No, he flirt. He said to her, "Subhanahu wa alif al qulub." I can show you the reference. And you speak Arabic. He flirt with her. He said to her, "Praise be to Allah, the one who made my heart flip for you." So I want you to be honest, Osman. If uh, uh, your father, he came to your house. Hmm? Listen, if your father, with my respect to your father, I don't mean to insult any one of your family. You, you understand, right? And this is why I give an example. If your father came to your house and he flirted with your wife, and your wife, she told you that your father was here and he said this to me, what you would do? Uh, if he is my father, there's no problem. My father, like, chatting with my... Wife, I don't think there's a my problem friend. What a chatting! What a chatting! He, he said, to, he said to her, No, he did not chat. What a chatting! He said to her, My heart is beating for you. What chatting? We're not talking about chatting like chatting, say hello, how are you, my daughter? That's not a crime. He flirted with her, and it says, Even and for how he has, and he fell in love with her, or he fell in love with her body because the curtain moved. So, what you would do, be honest. Uh, if uh, he's my father, I would think like, uh, what's wrong with you, bro? I mean, yeah. That's it? Guys, what's wrong with you, bro? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> what? Yeah, uh, of course I'll tell my father like, what, what's wrong, man? Um, what are you doing like with my wife? Mm. And he said, if he said to you, okay, I, feel, I, feel, I, I like her, I want to sleep with her, what you would do? I want to have her, what you would do? Uh, I, 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 I was just uh, uh, 
I will just take my wife and uh, move to another place. Uh, so you are going to run from the crimes of Muhammad. This is what you are saying. But why did you change the topic from crucifixion to this? Bro? No, we are not because we are. We were asking you how come we are talking about the crucifixion. Why Jesus is saved and why Muhammad is not? It's you who mentioned that Muhammad, because he is not qualified to be like Jesus, so Jesus way better than Muhammad. So uh, obviously, this is why Allah he saved, and it's you who said that, not me. So I'm saying to you now, uh, what what was wrong with Muhammad? This was, this is how the conversation came, my friend. Wake up, you know, take it, drink some coffee. Uh, why Muhammad is not good for you enough to be like Jesus? You said he have some, you know, fault and problems. And is, so we mentioned like uh, uh, the story of Zainab. So what kind of a person he is not honored enough, a relationship between father and son by adoption. He go to the house when the husband is not there. He cheat with the wife against the husband. And obviously there, there was a relationship with them because the, you see, if the woman she is, a true woman and a strange man or even a father she would be more angry she would say to her husband look at your father what he did to me he flirted with me shame on you and your family i'm not going to stay here no more she did not do that she is happy for it that's me she is a bad woman uh, but uh, here i think yani, allah was just trying to prove something you know? prove what he, yeah he proved that muhammad is a perverted man prove what because if you know if, if you are the prophet who's teaching Muslim, no. oh don't look at the women, don't look at the women, you know, the women should wear burqa, whatever you say, Muslims. And then we find that Muhammad when he go alone with the women, he wanna sleep with her, and this is not his wife. Are you allowed in Islam to go to a woman she is already married and you flirt with her? You will say no, right? So how Muhammad don't follow his own teaching? So if he say, you cannot do that, if a, if, if, a, if, if a different Muslim guys, he do that, Muhammad, he will beat him maybe. But he can do that, for he is a fraud. Are you there, Osman? You have a bad internet. So what we have as a conclusion until he come back, his internet is bad. What we have a conclusion from this Muslim that Allah is a liar. Thank you very much. Allah is a fraud. Thank you very much. Allah is the devil. Thank you very much. And he agreed that Allah, he lied to us for the last previous 600 years before Muhammad. Thank you very much. And he agreed that we Christians, we witness for the truth because we saw Jesus in the cross, not someone else. And we, as the verse saying, we have in the Bible exactly as what we saw, which means we are telling exactly the truth. Because the truth is what you say about what you saw, not about imaginary. Somebody comes 600 years, he was not even there, and he come with a story saying, oh, it wasn't uh, Jesus, it was some, someone, someone else. So the story is very clear now. That even a Muslim, he agree that Allah is a fraud. Allah is the devil. Even when I say to him, well, Allah, he says that he is the one who deceived and the one who deceived, nobody can guide him. Hmm? We have a uh, Abu is calling. How are you, Abu? Hello. Yes, Mr. Abu, how are you? Uh, I'm okay. All right. What do you think about the topic we are talking about? What do you want to say? Uh, what do I think about the topic? Mm -hmm. First of all, uh, it's me, Abu Cyrus. I know it's you, Abu Cyrus. I know your Majesty, well, Abu Cyrus. the topic uh -huh. is the crucifixion. The mm -hmm. crucifixion of Christ proven even in the Quran. So I haven't seen any proof that the cru that the crucifixion is proven in the Quran. Okay, let's read together. Give, give me the um the uh, proof first. Look, look like you are blind. Okay, read the verse for me and explain it. Here we go. Chapter four, ver uh, verse one fifty seven. Go ahead. Uh, and because of their saying, um, I guess that's we killed Messiah mm -hmm. Isa, mm -hmm. son of Maryam, mm -hmm. the messenger of God. Okay. Mm -hmm. And. Continue. Do, do, do I read the rest? Yeah, read and then explain to us what happened. But they killed him not. 
They killed him not, nor crucified him, but the, re but the resemblance of Isa was put over another man, and those who differ therein are full of doubts. They have no knowledge. They follow nothing but conje conjecture. Mm -hmm. For surely they killed him not. Okay. Explain to us what okay. happened. Go ahead. I'm listening. Explain to us what happened huh? exactly. Based on your understanding, what, what happened here? It says hmm. they didn't kill him. Hmm. They didn't crucify him. Hmm. But what happened? And what happened was hmm. uh, it was made to look like um, Jesus was crucified. Thank you, guys. Let us stop here. Our friend Abu, he just said okay. it was made to look like Jesus. Who is the one who made look like Jesus? Uh, no one. It was made to look like Jesus. Who is the Not one who made that happen? Was made no, no, no. Who, who is the one who made that it person was... look like Jesus? Who is the one who made it look like Jesus? Um, God. God. What is his name? Um, he's got 99 names. Uh, give me one, my friend. Which I, I'm one not do interested. you want? Uh, give me anyone, like the fat, the short, the tall. I don't care. Your God have 99. Nine, 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 I mean, okay. it, it, even his name is not completed. Ar-Rahman. Okay, Ar-Rahman, guys. Allah Ar-Rahman. This is Rahman al yep. We will go later to Rahman. Remind me too, so we can laugh. So here you are saying to me yep. that Allah, he made someone look like Jesus in the cross. And then we saw no, someone... No, 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 no. I didn't say that. You said, you said Allah, Ar-Rahman, right? Ar-Rahman is not Allah, the different one? I said Ar-Rahman mm -hmm. made it look like mm -hmm. Jesus mm -hmm. was crucified. Okay, so Allah, he made someone look like I Jesus, did not right? Say, I, I did not say God made um, someone to look like Jesus. So Allah is not God for you? What do you mean? Would you just say oh. to me, that I asked you, who is the one who made this person look like Jesus? You said, oh, my God, he have 99 names. I said it shows one. You said Ar-Rahman. Okay. So Ar-Rahman is the one who made this person look like Jesus. Do you agree or not? I said... Don't tell me I said, do you agree or not? Do you agree or not? Did Allah made this person look no, like no, Jesus? I don't agree. I don't agree. Well, the, I don't agree because that's not what I said. So what you said, you repeat again. Let us see. I said mm. Ar Rahman mm. made it look like Jesus was killed. I did not say Ar Rahman made someone to mm. look like Jesus. So you are saying the verse here is lying because you are the one who did read for us. It says, read carefully, it says here, and they killed, they, they and uh, look, uh, uh, but the resemblance of Isa, Jesus, was put over another man. And they killed no, that man. No, it doesn't say that. It actually says, Hmm. Hello? Well, it's in front of you. You are the one who did read it, not me. Hmm. Hello? Yeah. It, sa it says, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ hmm. وَمَا صَلَبُوهُ hmm. وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ hmm. Okay. But what does that it mean? was made to appear for them. Made by who? It was made by God. Who, what, 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 what his name? Why you keep saying? Like why you, Jesus, why you keep saying God? Why you don't say the name of the God? Who is that God who made that person appear like Jesus? Because God has many names. So why you don't tell me his name? I want to know who's your God. Are you a Muslim or you are a Hindu? Because there, there are ninety nine names. Who okay. Why you, the, why you don't use them? Why you don't use the most famous name? Why you are why you are refraining from the using the word Allah? Are you are you afraid to use it? Are you ashamed to use it? So I say Allah. Allah is not a name. Allah is not a name. It is not. It's, it's a word uh -huh. that means God. Oh, it's a word mean God. So why are you Muslim? You say. Shahada in the following form you say there's no uh, you bear witness that there's no la ilaha illallah the word ilah is God Allah is the name so if there is no if you if you are saying that Allah is a word meaning God that you are saying to me uh, the Shahada is saying there's no God but God that's stupid <laughs> um, first of all 
first of all, are we going to talk about um, listen, listen, or listen, this no, one? listen, you know, listen, I like this one too. no, listen, listen, you are funny, but anyway, so who is the one? Let us make it simple. Give me a name, a final name you choose for the one who did this person make him look like Jesus. What, who is he? The God of who? The God of Muhammad. God of the universe. Okay, this is the God of Muhammad. Yes or no? Muhammad. No problem, but no, he is not my God. He's your God. So the God of Muhammad, he is the one who did that. Let us finish this. Now, you just admitted that yes. Allah, he made someone look like Jesus, and that one who Allah made him look no, like Jesus. No, I did not admit that. Understand <laughs> carefully. Please listen. I, mean, I did not say some. Someone was made to look like Jesus. Not someone. I said it was made to look like Jesus was killed. No one was made to look like Jesus. Uh -huh. So this is according to uh, which interpretation? The verse itself. Oh. should be. It was. It's like it's like it was, he was uh, crucified, mm. but it was not. No one was was crucified. Okay, so it was okay. It was light. All right. So what you are saying, the way I understand you, that Allah created an illusion, like a three D, right? Yeah, something like that. Okay, guys. So Allah, He created illusion. Someone in a three D image, you know, uh, like He have a projector somehow, and He put the image on the cross, and people they thought that this is Jesus. This is what you are saying, correct? Um. Yes. Okay. Wonderful. That means Allah is not only a liar, he is a professional cheater. Because not only nobody was killed, not only it was not Jesus, it was the whole story, it was a lie fabricated by Allah. It's a fiction story made by Allah. People believe in it, and Allah is the biggest fat liar. Thank you for saying that. Uh, no, not people believed in it. They believe in it. Here we go. The verse saying that, are you deaf? Are you blind? It says, and they say, they say, we killed the Messiah. And then he said to them, but they killed him not. But they follow their conjectures. So what they follow, they follow what they thought. Um, well, here, and you are the one who said to me, I mean, what, what I, mean, I mean, what's wrong with you? You are the one who said to me that Allah, he made it look like. So what do you mean they did not? Are you saying that the, the lie of Allah was not good? Are you saying no, that? The, no, hold, no, on, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, so people, they can laugh at your logic. Are you saying, are you saying that Allah, when he made him look like that, the Jews did not believe in the Allah lie and he, they were able to get him busted and they say, this is this is the projector, this is fake, this is the true. Are you saying that the Jews did notice that this is a lie from Allah? <laughs> That's not what I'm saying. This is what you said. You said, you, you said, I, I said to you, Allah, he fabricated a lie and the Jews, they believe in it. You said, no, they did not believe in it. So you are saying that the Jews, they got Allah busted. They knew it's a lie. They, 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 he, couldn't, he could not fool them. This is what you said. When you say they did not believe in it, it's mean Allah was got busted and he was not able to fool anyone. Uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. Can okay. I tell you so, what I'm saying? So, okay, so was Allah able to fool the Jews and make them believe that the cross, the one in the cross is Jesus? Yes or no? He was able to fool them or he was not able to fool them? Yes. Thank you. He, um, guys, you can say the word, you know, you can say guys, the word fool if you want. See, he said, yes, um, he agreed he that Allah, that Allah, Allah, he, Allah, he fooled people. Allah, he fooled people and he agreed with the word and he agreed that Allah is the biggest deceiver, the biggest liar because the one who fooled me, making me believe in something which is not true, obviously he is shaitan. You're just putting words into my mouth. No, you are the one who agrees with fooling. You are the one who agrees. You are the one who agrees. You are the one who agree with the word fool. You said you can say so, no problem. Fool, yeah, he fooled them. So yeah, Allah, he fool fooled with them. The quotation marks. What? Fool with the quotation marks, not real, not literally. Fool. Uh, not literally, but is that okay? But did they believe literally, or did they, they did not believe literally? Did they believe in the in the crucifixion literally, or did it not? Okay. Who's they? The Jews. Yes, the killers. Yes, the killers. 
<laughs> not just the Jews, but the killers. The killers. Only the killers. Only the killers. So the people who there, they would not notice that? Yes. The, the rest of the people, they did not see someone in the cross? That's correct. Where do you get this Those story? Those believers. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, 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 okay. Okay, hold on. When the Quran says, Qawlahum inna qatalna Isa, who is the one saying that? The killers or the Jews? The killers. Okay. The, Jew, the killers who were Jews. Not all the Jews. Not all the Jews. Okay, let us see. Hmm. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. If there is any scholar agree with you. Um None, the Quran right? does. No, the Quran does not. Here we I go. Don't, I don't uh, no, 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 no. You, you don't know what you are talking about. Chapter five, verse number seventy. Read it for us. Chapter 5, verse what? Number 70. 5, 7. Hang on, let me... 5, 70. 70, not 7. 70. 5, 70. Okay. Hmm. Hang on. Uh, like, okay. Mm -hmm. What do you want to say? Oh, oh, oh. Read it. I mean, read what's it. your point? Read it. Explain to us. You say to us, only the killers, they killed Jesus. But the Quran says the Jews, the children of Israel, all of them, they killed, they killed prophets. All of them. He did not say the sum of the Jews. He said the children of Israel. Don't, don't lie. The, the, we, verily, we took the covenant of the children of Israel. Who? Children of Israel. All of them. And we send uh -huh. them messengers whenever I come to uh -huh. them, to them who? Children of Israel. What they do with them, they kill them. Read it. Uh -huh. So you said to me only the killers when the Quran said the Jews, all of them, they killed messengers. All of them. Now, a party, a party they denied, a party killed. <laughs> Not all look, of them killed. No, no, no. The verse saying clearly, each time we send to them, there is come to them. Read, read. Are you blind? There come to them messenger with what they themselves desire uh -huh. not uh, you know you see here and here they say between the, in the in translation says and a group of them they called liar which means a group of the prophet and the other group you kill them so the jews all of them when a prophet come to them either they say to him you are a liar or they kill him this is what the verse is saying look it says whenever they there came to 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 them a messenger with what their souls did not desire yeah what they they who's they you see the word they they who they go back to who uh, uh the jews the jews are thank you israel. thank you the jews thank you the jews who is the one killing them the jews you said only something <laughs> just got lost it so, says a part you Look, see you see why i hang up on muslims is, you see why i hang up on muslims i mean I, I, mental illness and they said to me, why you hang up? <laughs> First of all, he fabricated his own interpretation. Nobody agree with him. Open Ibn Kathir, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, al You will not find one Muslim agree with this, ma th th this madman. But even with your interpretation, you agree that Allah, he fooled the Jews. And then you change your mind. You say he fooled some of them. But the Quran say clearly, you know, that no, this is not what happened, my friend. The Jews, all of them, all of them, they are a bunch of killers. All of them. There's no exception. And by the way, if we ask the Muslims, this verse here is another way to get Muhammad busted. Can you name for me one of prophet the Jews killed? <laughs> Let's give him a chance one more time. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Abu. You see the verse says that the Jews, they killed prophet. Can you name for me one prophet the Jews killed? Uh, you're breaking up. What? I can't hear you. Okay, I'm saying the verse in the front of us, chapter 5, verse number 70 says, that the Jews, they killed some of the prophet and some they accused him to be a prophet. So they killed many prophets. Can you name for me one prophet the Jews killed according to Islam? Um, I cannot. Why you cannot? I, I, I 
I cannot, you know, name any prophet that they killed. Hmm. So your God Allah, He have time to tell us about the end. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. So your God Allah have time to tell us about Suleiman. He heard the end speaking to the end, but yet He don't have time to tell us about such an important matter about the prophet of God who been slaughtered and Allah forgot to mention them. Allah have time to tell us about the flying carpet of Suleiman, but he don't have time to give us one name of a prophet of God, the Jews they killed. Allah have time to say any woman she want to give her vagina to the prophet so he can F her, but he don't have time to tell us about such an important matter about the prophet of God was sent to the Jews and the Jews killed him. I mean, what kind of book and what kind of God this God is? You keep talking and you won't let me, you know, explain. No, explain. How come the Quran? With, uh, Muhammad Hijab. Why the Quran? Yes, you felt that you weren't given, you know, time to explain. Uh, I am speaking to you. I'm speaking to, to you. Listen, don't lie. I'm speaking to you for the last 30 minutes and you gave me all the answer which I want to prove in me to be right. So what are you talking about? I did not let you talk. I, guys, I did not let him talk. What is this guy talking about? So I'm asking you. I said. Can you name for me one prophet the Jews killed? You said no. That's mean this verse is stupid. Because how you mentioned to us that the Jews they killed many prophets, not only one. But you failed to give us one name. Either you accept then that Jesus is the one they killed as a prophet, or you have to give me a name. Why why does it need to give you the, the name? How why, why is it important? It's important because the Quran mentioned many prophets, but the, when it's come to killing them, we don't mention them. Well, Jesus said, you know, Jerusalem killed many prophets too. <laughs> Where are they? No problem. Jerusalem and the Jews they killed. Yes, the Bible confirmed that, you know, this is this is true. But I'm asking you now, in your book, can you show me? The name of the prophet was killed by the Jews. As an example, can you show me the names of the prophets that were killed by the Jews, which is mentioned in the Bible? No problem. I will give you one. Someone is very close to Jesus, John the Baptist. He was killed for standing against the corruption of the Jews. Now, name one for me. Was, was it the Jews that um, killed him? Well, the, 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 the ruler, he considered himself as a Jew and he is following his rules and the women who is going to marry from all the rabbi, they agree with him. Nobody have a problem with it. They are corrupt. So he is fighting the system. Not show only is he he's not. You can read the story. You can read the story. <laughs> show me the proof that he was a Jew. It was a Jew that who, killed him. Who was, who was a Jew? Uh, the, the killer my friend uh, my friend my, my, my friend the the, the 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 ruler who is he is against Jesus he is a, let us say he is a person who is adopting the Jew and the Jew they support him and they went against John the Baptist so the king he cannot just go and do as he wish alone if he don't get the support so the Jews they are against John the Baptist and they are promoting their corruption and they kill John the Baptist. Who is the one, just to show you how silly you are, according to the Bible, when Jesus was crucified, who is the one, the, even the ruler of the Roman, who is the one who decided the death of Jesus? Was the Roman or was the Jews? Who decided what? Who decided the death of Jesus? Was it the Roman ruler or it was the Jews, the rabbi? Uh, the punishment was um, decided by the ruler. No, that's a lie. It was the rabbi. They took him to the court and the rabbi, they questioned him. And then the, at the end, the, the, the ruler of the Roman, he says, I wash my hand from this innocent, the blood of this innocent man. I have nothing against him. And then the Jews, they shout, shouted, they says, his blood is in our hand and the, uh, the, and the hands of our children after us. So you are lying, my friend. Either you are speaking from ignorance or you lying. Which one is, is yours? So now we go back. Well, where is the names of the Jews prophets who've been killed by the Jews? Can you name one? Is it is it uh, is it Moses? 
I can't say because I don't know because okay. it's not revealed. Do, do you have a prophet knows? And I don't think it's important to know. No, it's who, important. You know, it's important. It's important because the only one the Quran mentioned that he was killed by the Jews or according to the, the Jews accusation uh, uh, claiming it was Jesus. So when the Quran says a group of them and it says a group not just one a group of them they accuse of lying and a group of them you, you killed that's mean they killed the group not only one so you have to mention to me now the group of the names so if the Quran failed to give us the names that means the Quran cannot be a book of God because this book speak about silly stuff yeah. like you can eat in the house of your father and the house of your uh, mother and you, if you are blind you can eat in your house and you can eat in the house of your sister and you can eat in the house of your uh, cousin and you can eat in the, in the house of the your, your your the cousin of your cousin I mean what this is so Allah have time to, to mention verses which is super silly stupid and he don't have time to tell us the names of the prophet who was killed and how they were killed again it's it's not important who the the names. No, it, no it's the important. Names are not no, it's important. important. That's important. Why? That's important. Why are you saying, That's important. You know, I'm, I'm telling you. Why you I'm telling you why. I, mean, I am telling you. I'm telling you. I am telling you why it is important. Because okay, so why you are mentioning the story of Jesus then that he was not killed if it's not important? Why you are mentioning the stories of other because. prophets? If it's not why you are mentioning? Okay, let me ask you: What is the importance about the story of the hood, hood the bird who Suleiman checked him and he did not find him in the cage? What is the important about the story? What is the important of the ant saying to the ant, "Hide other, so otherwise Suleiman will crush you"? What is the important about it? Go ahead. Well. I'm not really. Could you could you uh, uh, put it up? Oh, uh, we don't know probably. We, we have to. You know, we have to read it. Uh huh. Okay, we have to read it. For, okay, for guys. To find out the the, the 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 moral of the story. Ah, the moral. There's a moral there. I, I I like that actually. There's a moral. All right. Let us see the moral of this story. Uh, The moral, I like it when you say the moral. Okay, chapter 27, verse number 17 and 18. Read, and you can read as many verses before, as many verses after. No problem. Yeah, um, my computer is a bit lagging, so... No I'm problem, Op open it, my it friend. When I say to you, computer. when I say to you the chapter name, you just open it from your computer. Don't wait for the screen. No problem. Chapter 27, verse number 17, 18, 19. What is this? Chapter what? 27, verse number 17, 18, 19. 27, verse number 17. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, whatever you want. Go ahead. Let us see the moral purpose of this. The moral. I like the moral word. Um, it's to um, well, it says here, and we certainly give gave uh, Solomon knowledge. So it's to give him knowledge. It's to to show us mm -hmm. that um, God gives knowledge. That's wonderful. Okay, what the knowledge he gave to Solomon? Explain to us. Go on. Go ahead. The language, the language of birds, the okay. language of things. Of, okay, the language of birds. No, don't say things. things the, language, the, the language of birds. Did you say birds? Birds, right? Okay. Yeah. And so how he understand the language? He gave him the language of the birds. Okay. But then when he arrived to the ant valley, he heard the ant speech. So how I taught you the language of the birds and then you understand the ants. It and what? Says here, and we have been given from all things. Yeah, but he mentioned it clearly that he gave him the language of the birds. Yes, and all things. All things. All things. All, 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 all things is his things. wealth. All things is his wealth. All the wealth he has is from Allah. The language is that he taught him the language of the birds. That's why, because if he had the language of all things, then he would say the language of all things. He did not say that. He said specifically the language of the birds. Don't fabricate. Well, from context, it means all. It's, it says right here from 
Okay, 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 my friend. Okay, 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 guys, guys. Okay, you said you said that Allah He taught him the language of all things, but ants don't talk. Ants they communicate, but not by talking. So the man he laughed at her How speech. How would you know? How would you know? Science, all, science, science says, science says that ants they can talk, yes, but not by talking, not by speeches. They talk by vibration or by chemical. So how should a man he heard their speech? And that's how he uh, he talked to him to them. But how, However, how they talk to him? Talk. You see, he taught him a language. He taught he him the, okay. He taught him a language, and the language of the ants is either chemical or vibration. They have to touch each other. They have to touch each other and vibrate like Morse. Okay. So now, Suleiman, how he? Learn this vibration. He was vibrating with the ants too. The ant was in the top of Suleiman and she was knocking at his head. No. Suleiman is coming far away and the ant, she said to the other ant, hide otherwise Suleiman will crush you. And then Suleiman, he, smelled, oh. he, he smiled, amused with her speech. Does it say the word speech? So she was making a speech. Uh, we need, we don't, we cannot be so technical in this. I mean, language. Ah, we cannot. Language. Okay. Okay. Uh, we, okay. We go back now. So Allah, yes, yes, Allah so Allah, you have time. The language of the listen, listen. Is, so know, Allah, limited, so Allah. You know? Okay. What is the purpose of this story? What we learned? The purpose of the story is mm -hmm. that God can give knowledge to whomever He wants. Mm -hmm. You know, about anything. Even the language of birds, language mm. of you know ants, the language of the jinn, however they talk, mm. that's you know how, that's how Solomon did. Mm. So this is how Solomon did. Okay, so Allah He gave him the language of the birds, and he understand everything now. And Solomon is coming, but you know I have just a little simple question. I'm sure you can answer it easy. How the ant she knew the name of Solomon? God gave knowledge to them too. Allah, He gave Allah. He told the end that this guy, his name is Suleiman. Yes, God gives gives ah, knowledge to all. So Allah, He spoke to the end. He said, "And this guy is coming from far away. His name is Suleiman. So tell the ants to hide from Suleiman." Hmm. Okay, that's amazing. That's so that this ant must be a prophet for the ants. Yeah, maybe. Guys, he maybe the ant. This ant is a because is a, Allah, is a, everything, everything, every living thing, you know, worships God. You, you know, communicates with God, talks to God, ah, even ants. Okay, so ant, they have a prophet. What do you know? Do you know the name of the prophet for the ants? This ant who was speaking to the ant, you know. No, I know it. it's not okay. revealed. So this yeah. ant, this ant, peace upon her. She was spoken to from Allah, and Allah told her the name of Suleiman, and then she told the ant that Suleiman is going to come to crush you. Okay, what happened after that? You can read. Well, it's, it's just, right there. The story disappeared. We don't know what happened. Did they hide? Did they? Did, they, did, they, did he came to them? What happened? Did I they, don't know. So what, so what the purpose of this story? I mean, this story is silly, and you can find this story in a book. It's called The Legion of the Jews, and Muhammad copied from there. This is a story. They tell them to their kids before they sleep in the bed. Kids who they are five, six years old, let us tell you about Suleiman. This is a story. The Jews, they tell to their kids. This is a false story. How would you know it's a false story? Okay, let us continue. See, it's false story or not. And then Suleiman, after he smiled, and then he said to Allah, thank you, Allah, for all what you gave me. Then he came to check in the birds and he found one bird is missing. Who is this bird? Beats me. Huh? Why, why would you ask me? I don't know. What do you, so are, aren't you the Muslim? It's not important. Are you to the Muslims who is here to answer what? me? This is the bird. Here we go. This is the bird is missing. Uh, and by the way, he's a yes, I'm, I'm a Muslim. To answer 
for you okay. about the crucifixion of Christ. Yeah, but, but, but you see, but you see, you did not ask. Yeah, okay, you, an, you an, I, I ask you, I ask you about the crucifixion, and you you get in trouble. You say to me that Allah He fool everybody. Allah is a, is the one who fool everybody, and Allah made them see Jesus in the cross. But this is not Jesus. He made it appear, but it was not real. It's a fiction. We get that, and we say to you then, okay, so did the Jews kill anyone? In their history, because you said to me, a group of the Jews, you said only, only the killers. And then I showed you a verse saying, the Jews, they killed, the Jews, all the children of Israel, to get you busted. And that will lead us no, to... No, it doesn't say all of them killed, it says a party of them killed. No, 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 okay, here we go, okay. Just... Okay, where well, it says party of them killed, either you get me busted or you are, you, you, you agree that you are a liar. Where it says in the verse... Uh, could you open up... The verse that you showed me before. All right, I will show it to you again. Here we go. Where it says a group of them claim. Where it says that. Okay, let me let. Okay, let me explain. First of all, it says whenever there came to them a messenger with what their souls did not desire. So that's the context here. Those who were. Uh, those who mm, were given things that their hearts did not desire. Mm. There are also those mm. who will desire, who desired everything God gave. Okay. So not all the Jews. Okay. Let us, know, let um, us see. Let us see. Let us see. Uh, you see. Did not you see. You see. My, my friend, you are forcing That's me. Those who you, did are, not you are forcing me to hang up on you because you are funny and silly. You are making fun of the Quran. Look, it says. And we wait, 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 listen, no, listen, no, listen, no, listen. Please, please, no. I'm not hanging up on you. Wait, just wait. I'm just giving you a reason why I hang up on you because you are very silly. The verse saying we took the covenant of the children of Israel, who the children of Israel, and then and we send them messenger, them who children of Israel, whenever come to them, them who children of Israel, a messenger that they, they who children of Israel desire not who. Children of Israel, a group of them they call dire. A group of who? Yes, Prophet. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Yeah. Stop right there. I stop. I stop. Okay. What, what, what about those? What? What about those? What those? Who desired? What do you mean? What the messenger gave. So it's not talking about all of them. Wait, 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 you see, you see, you are, you are an, you are, you are an idiot. Those here, they are saying here, a group of them, those are the prophets. A group of them, they call them liars. Those are the prophet. Another group, they kill them. This is not about the Jews now. So they have two groups. Younger, are you there? Yep, yep. Okay. So there is two groups. Those are not the Jews now. Those are the prophet for the Jews. So the Jews either they do call them liars, or they kill them. But who is the one who do that? They go back to the children of Israel. I mean, your English is better than mine, way better than mine. Yes. So why you can't see it? They who? They, hang on, hang on, hang on. They <laughs> goes back to those who did not desire. Okay, those who, where, 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 okay. Desire. Okay, do you read with me? It says, come to them, a messenger, them who? Children of Israel. A messenger which that they they who children of Israel they desire not yes what about those who desired what those who were where is the what, what are you reading what are you doing what those who desire it's yes it's talking about those who did not desire there were also those just who just, did shut up. Just, just, just shut up just shut up just shut up and they say to me, why you say get lost? I mean, a donkey can see it. You know what donkey mean? Donkey. It says the children of Israel, all the children of Israel, we send to them, them who? Children of Israel. Whenever I come to them, them who? Children of Israel. Send them what? A messenger. What they themselves, they who? The children of Israel. 
a group of them they called liars and a group of them they killed <laughs> who's next who is next So look, we have two Muslims, both of them, they agree that Allah is a big fat liar, he is the devil. He fooled people. This guy, he came with, a, with his own theory. He said that Allah, he made it fake. There's nobody was on the cross. It was just illusion. Like, ooh, lighting, illusion. And people, they saw somebody bleeding in the cross, but there was nothing there, you know. But that will not change anything anyway. Allah still is a liar. Uh, let us see if this guy is a Muslim. Hello? Yes, please uh, mute your mic. Mute your mic, uh, YouTube. Oh, hello. Mute YouTube. Yes, mute YouTube, please. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. There's some delay in my... No problem. So what do you want to say to us? <laughs> Are you a Muslim? I'm from Indonesia, Mr. Prince. Okay. And what do you want to say to us? Hello. Go ahead. Yeah, uh... Fine, uh... I'm Christian actually, but uh, send greeting from for you from everyone Christian in Indonesia. All right, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> finally I found your ID. All right. And I would like to, yeah. <laughs> uh, but my, my, but my friend, my, my, my friend, thank you very much. First, I love all people from Indonesia, but now we have timing for Muslims to call us about the topic. So oh, please, yeah. please don't call uh, us. Maybe uh, if I. I will Wait, give you some advice. You want to give I me may, if I yeah, give me advice. Yeah, what? especially from Muslim Indonesia. Hmm. Most of them are gently, gently, and <laughs> it's if uh, if you're with your style, uh, it's kind of a uh, harsh. It's harsh. It's okay. hard for them to accept. Yeah, hmm. it's for it's hard for them to accept. Oh. For or, yeah, but how you. Teaching, you know, your teaching is excellent, but if ah, maybe you must be a little lower down your profile so Indonesian people like, can accept you and make a dialogue with you. No problem. And, oh, all right, my friend. Anything yeah. else? Anything else? That's all? Uh, and please slow down your tempo of uh, English speaking because most uh, of Indonesian people are lacking of English skills. So you have to slowing down your tempo so you they can understand. Yeah, but we they have so we have we have we have Indonesian uh, uh, brothers and sisters. They are translating my videos into Indonesian language. So that would be yeah, fine. Uh, maybe, all, maybe, right. Uh, all, all right, all right, my friend. I, I, I cannot I, I cannot keep you for long. Sorry. Uh, please, if you want to call, only if you are a Muslim, we will make a time, maybe some uh, once a day in the in this pro, uh, uh, Arabian Prophet account for Christians to call. Uh, first of all, I cannot be nicer than this. And I don't care really how gentle they are. This is not really a topic of being gentle. Either you say the truth as it is, or you are not willing to say it. So what I will say, or how I will speak. And what I do actually is very successful. Do you know how many people left Islam this week talking to me? There's many people, they speak so friendly, but they don't make one person leave Islam. So what we are doing is very successful. And my friend, if you like, if you love, like to, 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 to save somebody, if you love somebody, you have to shock him. You have to wake him up. It's like somebody, he faint. And what do you do? You touch his cheek? No, you slam in his face. Wake up! So please don't tell me. I, I respect you for the, the, the giving advice. I appreciate that. You are my brother in Christ. I mean, I'm humbly accepted. But what we do is working very well. And actually, the reason you Indonesian are listening to me from all over Indonesia is because the way I talk. How truthful I am, how straight I am, how direct I am. Because usually what we see is people who don't dare to say things as it is. And people are sick of it. You ask a Christian minister, what do you think about Islam? He starts saying, oh, well, you know, um, 
God, he loves everybody, but this is not the question. The coward, he will not say. This is not the question. I'm not asking you if God loves everybody. Did I ask you if a God loves For sure God loves everybody. God, he loved the whole world, so he sent his only begotten son. But that's not the question. So we have enough of politically correct people. We have enough of people lying to us and lying to the Muslims from both sides. Those who claim to be priests and those who claim to be ustad, both of them, they are lying. None of them dare to say the truth. And enough is enough. Either say it as it is, or don't open your mouth. This is what the Lord say. Yea, yea, or nay, nay. No makeup, no decor, no paint, no political correctness. We are sick of it. It is time to say things as it is. Who is Muhammad is a false. Don't tell him, you know, we don't think Muhammad is saying, let me write about this. I mean, what do you mean? Either he is a false prophet or he is not. Tell him. But because this guy who claimed to be a priest, he's a potato. You know what potato means? He's a potato. He's not, not a Christian even. He don't even dare to say it. The Bible says, who is the Antichrist? Is the one who denied the father, the son. Just say it. If you are a coward, you don't dare to open your mouth, then don't open your mouth. Don't be a deceiver, a misleading person. We have enough of them. But thank you, my friend, for your advice. I respect you for it. Uh, do we have any Muslim would like to call us? So... If we have a conclusion for what we saw in front of us, we see that the Muslims are very confused and they have no idea how to explain because Islam is very stupid. And then if you try to read their own scholars' interpretation, you will die laughing. You know what die laughing means? Literally, you will die laughing. All those stories we see in the interpretation, they have no base. Not a single hadith coming from Muhammad. And all of them, each one of them, he gave us a different story. Ibn Abbas said, just before Allah, he raised Isa to heaven, Isa went to his companions, who were 12 inside the house. Okay, sit down, kid, sit down. Okay, so Isa, he went inside the house, and there were 12, brother. Uh, let me let me uh, ask Zakir Naik to uh, to to tell you the story. Just wait, man. I just have a question about. I don't talk to me. I don't talk to me. I'm the What? I'm the Zakir Naik. You know what? Just let me open the umbrella for the sake of the shin of Allah. Can you explain to us what happened when uh, Isa was supposed to be taken to heaven? What happened exactly? I will tell you a story. But you promised me you will not call me for the coming 24 hours. For what? The 24 hours. Uh, the coming 24 hours. Okay, I, 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 I promise you not to call you for the coming 24 minutes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, first of all, Isa, he went to the bedroom. And he found the 12 disciples there. 12 who? Disciples. Uh, 12 disciples. Okay. And what they were doing in the house? They have a meeting, very secret meeting. And then when he arrived, he, the Messiah, he said to them, who voluntarily would like to take my image? What? Voluntarily like to take what? My image. Ah. So he said to them, who voluntarily like to take my image? Uh, and what happened next? And if you take my image, you are going to be killed. Uh -huh. So he said, who want to take my image? And you can be killed. But Zakir, do you think that the Messiah, he can give his image to somebody else? Allah is all capable. Allah is what? what? Allah is all capable. You mean capable. Exactly. So the Messiah was given the option to give his image for someone of his disciple. Uh -huh. And he said to them, who take my image so he will be killed in my place? Uh -huh. And he will be with me in paradise. 
if, 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 if. One of the youngest ones among them volunteered. Zakanai Ibn Kathir saying that. Do you know what his name? First of all, I love a bit. And we do not know the name. Uh, Zakir, where the story is coming from? Where we can find it? Did your prophet say this story? First of all, nobody knows where the story is coming from. Uh -huh. So even your prophet did not say that? He did not say that. So why you are following something your prophet did not say? I'm not following it. Simply I'm telling you what is in our books. Mm -hmm. So what is coming from your books have no really source for it? I mean, where do you Muslims fabricate the stories? You come up with a story, 12, and who take my image, and potato, tomato. But your prophet never say so. Did he say so? Furthermore, we Muslims, we have no idea. And this is why actually me, myself, I join a party, a political party. Ask me about the name. Hey, what is the name? We have no idea. What? The name of the party I did join is called We Have No Idea. Ah, and this is the party only Muslim they can join it. Oof. This is a party. It's called We Have No Idea and only Muslims can join it. Why only Muslims? Is that like a racist thing or something? First of all, we are Muslims, we are not racist. But because we are the only one who have no idea, we have the right to join the party of no idea. Ah, you are the only people who have no idea about what you believe. And this is why you can join the party of we have no idea. It makes sense. Exactly. Uh, uh, Zach and I, can I join this party? Christian Prince, are you stupid or what? You have all the idea. And therefore, you are qualified. You are over qualified to join the party. Ah, so I have first to forget about everything I know. And then I can join the party. Exactly. Right? Exactly. And why you are coming my word? Wait, which word? You said exactly. Uh, but, so I can say the word exactly. No, you can say it. Because simply this is a word coming from Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad, he said the word exactly. Exactly. Hey, can you show me the word in the Quran? First of all, I told you we have no idea. So don't ask me question. But you just said the Prophet, he said it. And you are saying you have no idea why he says that? Exactly. Okay, well, Zach and Naik, I'm really so much appreciate your knowledge. And by the way, uh, you said to the Muslims, if you wear a pant covering your ankle, you will go to hell. Exactly. Uh, but you wear a pajama and you wear a suit and you wear a tie, which is the clothes of the kuffar. Exactly. But isn't it your prophet says the one who dress like them or act like them, he is one of them? Exactly. So you are one of us? Because of both. Not exactly. But this is what your prophet said. Exactly. But that means you are like one of us. Not exactly. So explain to us. I told you, we don't the party, it's called me, I have no idea. And because we have the party of no idea, we have no idea what are you talking about. I have to go now. Thank you very much. And don't call me for the coming 24 hours, okay? That is Islam. We have no idea. So you ask them a question, everyone who starts fabricating his own story and his own answer. And you ask them where this is coming from, they have no idea. Where Ibn Kathir he got this from? They have no idea. Where Ibn Abbas gets this from? He don't know. They have no idea. And just to show you how stupid the Quran, you will notice the Quran keep calling the Christians Ahlul Kitab. Ahlul what? Ahlul Kitab. I mean, this the author of this book is certified idiot from the party of no idea. For each time you call them people of the book, you prove them right. Christians, focus with me. Don't be part of the party of we have no idea. If you do, shame on you. Do you see the Quran as an example? This is as an example. It says that hundreds of times. That the people of the scriptures, who are they? The Jews and the Christians. I mean, how in the world, you idiot? You say to them that your book is corrupt and yet you call them the people of the scriptures. Because when you call them with such a title, that's mean they are the only one who have the scriptures. 
Muslims are not people of the scriptures. They are not, never in the Quran being called such a name. It's like saying Sam Shamoon, the guy with the hair, but Sam Shamoon don't have hair. So how you call them the people of the scriptures if you don't agree with their scriptures? How they earned that title in the time of Muhammad and today? For we are the only one who have the scriptures. Even the book of the devil, the Quran confirmed that. So, my beloved Muslims and Christians, don't be part of the party of having no idea. Kissing a black stone, why? We have no idea. I went to a Muslim website, they convert to Islam. So I chatted with them. I, I posted them before on YouTube. I said, I have a question, please, please. Why the Prophet, he kissed the black stone? Uh, they said, because it's holy. That answer was fast. And I said, why it's holy? And then the guy, he was thinking and he was scratching his bum. And then he came with the answer after like five minutes. He says, uh, because the prophet kissed it. Like, what the heck? Okay, why the prophet kissed it? I told you what's wrong with you because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because the prophet kissed it. <laughs> oh boy. I mean, that's deep answer. That's very deep. I mean, this guy, he was thinking about it. You can see the chat. I don't know if I still have it on my computer. But once I show it to you in the in your, in your life on YouTube, you remember? Why the, why the Prophet kiss it? Because it's holy. And why it's holy? Because the Prophet kiss it. Until now, not a single Muslim knew why the Prophet kiss it. And this stone is in the shape of a vagina. May Allah shave you all, the followers of the black stone. How you cast a stone in the shape of a vagina and you put your head inside. <laughs> and you will see a, a, a follower of the cult of Muhammad putting his, his head inside the stone as he cried. I just kissed the black stone. And then Muhammad, you will see, Muhammad saying, because he's a pagan person, Muhammad is 100% pagan cult founder. He makes his cult with other belief like Judaism and Christianity just to get more popular name, to get more people join. He needed those names. It's like a fraud, you know, when he come to you wearing a uniform of the cable guy so he can get inside your house and he take your TV. Muhammad is the same. Muhammad even he claimed that the black stone is the right hand of Allah. He claimed that the black stone, if you touch it in the Yemeni corner, which is the corner have the stones from Yemen, if you touch them, that will erase your sin. How pagan you can be more than this? Oh Abu Abdul Rahman, why do I only see you touching these two corners? He said, I heard the messenger of Allah says, Touching them erase your sin. That is Islam, my friend. That is Islam. Uh, by the way, for those who do not know, <clears throat> I have another account where we speak about different topics, have nothing to do with Islam. If you like to join us there, it's called the quality of life subscribe in that channel but that channel is not about the cult of muhammad no garbage there different topics serious topic will help you in many things so if you like to join us in the quality of life maybe the admin if he's there he can post the link so he can click and subscribe and don't forget to subscribe to our channel here and uh, if you like our videos give it a like if you don't like it give it dislike please don't forget dislike muslims if you are a muslim you have a duty to do jihad allah akbar Give it this like. And by the way, I will give an advice for Muslims to get deeds from Allah. Because Prophet, he taught that if you commit a sin and then you follow it by good deed, Allah will double your deed. So let us do this. Subscribing to Christian Prince is one sin. And subscribing, brother, is double. 
So do this. Subscribe and subscribe, subscribe and subscribe, subscribe. It's been the whole day. I mean, you can imagine how much good deed you can do. Unbelievable logic. I will go right now to Christian Prince channel and I will subscribe and subscribe, subscribe and subscribe. I mean, even their logic about sin is the most funny, crazy. How in the world people they believe in such a cult? I'm not going to keep you long. Did we have a good time, guys? Did we have a good time today? We did, right? So the Bible, the Bible and the Quran prove that the crucifixion happened because the Quran confirmed that yes, there is somebody was crucified, but they. Uh, the Muslim they say it was someone Allah made him look like him. That is the claim of a man who came 600 years after. A liar. No witnesses. All historians, not only Christians, all historians, including the Jews, they say, yes, in this year, in this time, a person, his name is Yeshua, he claimed to be the Messiah, and he was crucified, and he was killed. Historian who they are a Greek at that time who they are not Christians. Historian who they are Persian. Historian from around the world they witness for this and they wrote the story. And then 600 years after, a liar, his name is Muhammad. He have no witnesses for anything. He went to the seven heaven in the top of a flying mule. Nobody saw it. As usual. By the way, guys, yesterday, just to tell you, uh, <clears throat> Because one of you asked me what you ate for yesterday. I, I said I ate sushi. And look what happened, brother. I was sitting in my next to my window. I have a window, by the way, in my house. I, or, I swear by Allah. I have a window. And then uh, a flying donkey, he come to my window. He hit his head in the... Actually, not head, his, his tail, to be honest with you. He had a long tail. He hit his tail in the window. And he scared me first, by the way. Because I thought it's a snake. True story. And then I opened the window. He spoke to me uh, uh, Hebrew. And I don't speak Hebrew. But Allah, he gave me knowledge, and I started speaking Hebrew to him. He said to me, I'll go, I'm, I'm going to take you, Allah sent me to take you and eat sushi. And then uh, he, we fly, and we went to Brazil to eat sushi in Japan. And then when we are in the Brazil, in Afghanistan, uh, you know, we stop in Starbucks in Afghanistan, which all over the store there, I mean, all over like by Afghanistan, there's a Starbucks and internet, free, free internet, very high-tech country. So anyway, when I was in Afghanistan, which is in the border of Somalia, uh, the donkey, he said to me, do you like to see like a nice beaches? I said, sure, let us go to nice beaches. He said, I will take you to Las Vegas. And in Las Vegas, we went there and we swim in the ocean. And when I was in the ocean in Las Vegas, brother, I got a big tuna, big, huge tuna. Okay, I got it from the store, by the way, it's a small can. But when you open it, it turned to be like, like a balloon. It gets so big, you know. So anyway, uh, 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 after we ate the, the tuna, and this is supposedly the, the sushi, uh, he said to me, do you like me to take you home or do you want to stop like uh, in uh, in the Tower of Eiffel uh, uh, in Paris? So I said, okay, take us in your way. Because, you know, Paris is in the middle of my house and uh, Las Vegas distance, you know. So anyway, so he took me to Paris and we we stopped in uh, Nicaragua. And when I was in Nicaragua, you know, and, and there they speak a uh, strange language I don't understand. But uh, Allah helped me. And I start uh, speaking uh, uh, the language of uh, Nicaragua which is, uh, they call it Nakaragu. And, uh, you know, I start speaking to them in the Nakaragu, like, like I said to them, uh, uh, amigo, like amigo, you know, and like everybody understand what I'm saying. You know, amigo, like uh, like whatever, you know, just say amigo and whatever word after that, you will understand you. So anyway, like I, I went there, brother, and then after uh, we finished uh, uh, vis visiting the, the Tower of Evil in Paris in Nicaragua, uh, I said to him, you know, I'm getting tired. I want to sleep. He said, no, don't don't go home because in your home now there's Corona. I will take you to a place. There's no Corona. I said, where? He said, I will take you to a place. You will never heard of it. He said, where? He said, heaven. So he took me to heaven. And brother, we opened the door of heaven and women lined up, brother. They are naked. They have no nothing. Brother, nothing, nothing, nothing. And they attacked me. And I felt for the first time, brother, I'm alone. The first time in my life I felt I'm alone. And I felt like I'm victimized. Because there's no introduction. I opened the door and suddenly like a lot of women, they jump on me and like, you know, I am victim. You know, actually I will make a, a book about uh, what happened to me in this night because it's really, really horrible. 
And anyway, like those women, they like uh, they throw me in the floor, and I was resisting. By the way, don't don't think I did not resist, and I did resist. And then I thought they want to do something to me, like sexual. And then I found that they are trying to steal my tuna. I mean, look at those crazy women. Honest to Allah, I thought they are going to do something to me. They were looking for the tuna, which I ate the toothy with, because I put some food with me in my pocket from the tuna. They want sushi, because in heaven there is no sushi. And those women, they heard that I have sushi, and they are desperate to get the sushi. They want to see what the, what this is sushi. So they, you know, like my my, they they took everything with me. I went like Tarzan outside of the heaven. I told Donkey, shame on you to bring me here. You brought me here. This was a trap, right? He said, honest to Allah, I have no idea that they are seeking your tuna. I said to myself, okay, well, and then the donkey, he said to me, well, at least they took your tuna, not the other thing. You know what I'm talking? I said, you are right. Uh, will you look, let, let us look positively at, at what happened. True story, brother. I mean, why my story, it is not a true for you Muslims. When Muhammad, he have way more crazy story. How in the world you believe in the story of Muhammad, but you don't believe in mine? Hmm? Unbelievable. Are you coming back tonight? I don't know if the Lord, he helped me and I feel good to, to come online. I will come. So guys, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. And uh, again, for those who like to learn more about Islam, you can read my books. You can find them in Amazon.com. And actually, I have more books to be published soon in Portuguese and uh, other languages. We are working in that direction. Uh, so may the Lord help us and may the Lord help the Muslims and may the Lord help the atheist. And we pray for all the world to save you all from the evil of Corona, which is two branches, Quran and Corona. For both of them, they lead into death. Christ is our Savior. By Him and for Him, everything is created. Christ is the one who gave us wisdom. Christian Prince, he speak nothing of his wisdom. The man is a fool. And the foolishness of the man cannot be a wisdom for the man. If the man is not a fool, he will not commit sin. But because he's a fool, he commits sin. So the only one we can depend on, his name is the Messiah, is our guidance. No Christian prince, no one can replace him. I am nobody. I am no one. I am just a servant of the Lord. I commit sin as you do. May the Lord forgive me for what I do. Bad or good, we need his forgiveness. And the only way for us to be saved is to be beloved by God, our Father, art in heaven. He is our Father. He love you. He love the Muslims. He love the Hindus. He love the Jews. He love the Christians. He love whoever. Say to him, Father, forgive me. I am your child. You are my provider. Pray for the Father to forgive the world. For the Lord Messiah, he said, before you ask for forgiveness, when he asked him how to pray, he said like this, and he made it as a condition, forgive to us as we forgive to others. So before you ask for forgiveness for yourself as a Christian, you should forgive for others, for this is the way and the steps of the Lord, the Messiah, the Lord of wisdom. May the Lord bless you all, protect you, keep you in good health and good wealth, and until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord, Islam is funny, made by a dummy for the dummy. See ya.